Uh, so, still on doors. Um, next one is, is a 4-in-1 latch jig. 4-in-1 latch jig, as you can see. 35mm door, 40mm door, 44 and 54. All you do is turn the plate. On here, you've got whatever latch you're using. Okay, now whatever latch you're using, you you put the the six mil grub screws in the ones you're no using. So when you're zooming away, you don't accidentally drill the wrong hole. So S is your spindle and B is your bolts. So in this case, we are using this, the 57. So we are using this one. So I've plugged that off. You also get a 25 millimeter peg. Okay. And if you notice that peg's got a wee nip on it, a wee point. This is how easy and fast this is. Okay. Take your tape roll. And you come off the bottom of your door, whatever you want to do. Well, this is a panel door. So I'm just going to go a meter, right? Because I already have marked the lock side. Simple. This is very simple. You take your lock jig or your latch jig. And all you do is centre it, there's a centre lines, 12 o'clock, 6 and vice versa. All you do is put your 25mm in there and do that. And what that's giving you is a mark where to put your cutter. And it's just straight forward to there. Then all you do is sit that inside there and drop your peg in, okay? And that gives you, that locks that in. I'm not going to do it all the way through, but you just drop your peg in your hole. And now what that leaves is your holes here for marking, okay? Um, just I've used a 22mm in that instead of 25 So what you're doing is, you're just grabbing your drill with your central drill in it, which I supply you. And all you do with that pin locked in there, you get into your bowl that you're going to use. Which is A3. And all you're doing, that same mark, turn it round, put that in. Do the same again. And now you've got that drilled for your bolts and your... Uh, as you can see there, perfect, perfect and perfect. Don't know if you can see it, I'm, I'm doing this myself, but now you've picked up one, two and three every time. Thanks for watching. Cheers.